Pam McDevitt already works from home, so when she got an email offering her an additional part-time job with flexible hours and good pay, she was interested. I signed up on their website and I, you know, filled out all everything and shortly thereafter I got an email. The job was described as a reshipper job. Payment would be $40 per package. If it would have been a whole lot of money, it would have been a red flag to me. If it would have been too little money, I wouldn't have been interested. She immediately received two packages. One was from Nordstrom. She printed out the shipping label and sent it to the address she was given. But when she got the next package, she felt something wasn't right, so she emailed the company. I just want to be clear. There's nothing in this package that's considered dangerous or because I don't want to get in any trouble, okay? There's nothing in here that would be dangerous or terrorist. They sent back an email, but she still had reservations. Why was I getting a package from Nordstrom? Why was it sent to me and then I'm sending it to somebody else? So she called postal inspectors. There are some legitimate work at home jobs, however, they're few and far between. Inspectors learned the postage Pam was using was counterfeit. They cautioned consumers to research any potential employer. Sometimes a simple internet search will reveal a scam. Follow up with that company by independently finding a phone number or an address for that company and make contact through that phone number or address. Don't rely on what was emailed to you.